Yo, what's good, you guys? So today we're gonna be talking about uh, psychosophy stereotypes, okay? And this time around, physics, because I think physics has been butchered and destroyed, and yeah, we need to talk about them a bit. So let's get into it. So let's start with first physics, which obviously everyone views as uh, degenerates, hedonist, right? Because they yeah, are excessive physics. Uh, obviously, guys, this is a disclaimer. The, uh, everything depends on your will placement. Uh, for example, there are many first physics individuals, um, celebrities like uh, Sebam, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Pitbull. People like that are uh, first physics, and you wouldn't have guessed. For example, with Pitbull, that wouldn't have been as obvious because why is a guy like this first physics? He's not very excessive. In fact, he's very um, aware of his spendings. He's very aware of his kind of like possessions and right so why why this an overabundance of this element uh, with someone like Arnold Schwarzenegger you can see you can kind of understand it right obviously very very oriented towards physicality working out his body and that's very much first physics some first physics people just take it easy they are just focusing more on comfortable things comforts right some people are more in the middle they like martial arts they work out they stay fit not crazy, just normal, right? They wear normal clothes, things that's comfortable, things that maybe look good. They're not crazy about money or luxuries. Maybe some of them even don't care about luxuries so much. It depends. Again, it depends, okay? Some 1Fs are more hardcore and more luxury-seeking. Some 1F, not necessarily. Let's not forget, guys, Surf Preservation 3, it is 1F, okay? One F V L E. That's Surf Preservation Three. Very hard working, very disciplined and perfectionistic type. Still, first physics. Probably the most harmful is that they're very violent and physical with people. Meaning, like quick to resort to violence. There are types who are who can be more violent. For example, V F E L is much more violent. Now the reason for that is 1F and 3V are not gonna be as open with their physical acts like that, with their violent uh, behavior. They're much much more inhibited in nature, while that 1V and 2F type is much more open with it. If they're gonna wanna like hit you in the face, they might just do that. They're not gonna be afraid of how it might be perceived, how that it might look. They're not really um, inhibited in their behaviors, right? That's not the case for uh, many other types, like 1F and 3V. So FLVEs are thought of those people who are just going to smack you in the face if you disagree with them. That's not, that's not really true. They're not going to do that. They're much more intellectual. They're much more uh, uh, charlatanistic, more indirect. Let's proceed to second physics, which is uh, the workaholic. Probably one of the worst, in my opinion, the dumbest stereotypes. Like, yeah, okay, you can argue that this type needs um, is much more mobile and much more physically active. It needs to be on the move. You can argue that, that but not a workaholic. What the f***? That's a specific trait. Usually focus on productivity. You need to literally f***ing jerk off to productivity. Most 2F people are not this way, resilient to any f***ing negative circum physical circumstances, right? Motherfucker is Superman. Of course, that's not true. I think, yes, they can kind of uh, ignore some things like that. They can push through certain physicalities and take pleasure in, in overcoming obstacles and challenges. But that doesn't mean that 2F people want to be fucking stuck in a freezing f***ing cold room. They can't care about comforts. They can care about stuff like that, just like any kind of physics would. Third physics, which is wild. They are very weird and taboo with sexual activities. So every f***ing third physics individual has to have this weird f***ed up relationship with sexual activities. Now, if that's true, I feel for you motherfuckers. With some 3Fs, they can be more prudish, but that doesn't mean that every f***ing 3F is going to be some nun who, oh no, please don't touch me. I don't want to be taught because I'm going to get flashbacks. Like, it's not going to happen. They can be very anti-materialistic. Now, I think just like every placement and uh, third placement has a certain duality to it. If you're neglecting your third third placement, if you don't give a f*** about it, like you just genuinely don't care about it, like it's unbothered, it's whatever, um, then why the f*** is it your third placement? Third physics people can compensate in the area by working out, by making sure that all the fucking the diet's correct you know be kind of uh, being too try hard with it and failing not having that kind of confidence in that realm so that's something that can happen for physics is unbodied just like unbodied emotion for emotion doesn't mean that this individual has no feeling 
This is again a disclaimer. That doesn't mean they have no fucking emotions or they don't engage with that fucking placement. They express it. They have feelings, and those feelings get expressed. Same way with for physics. You can see for physics people who can even care about aesthetics. He might even try to do something with it, enjoy beauty. If you guys have any other stereotypes you think should be mentioned, write down below. We can talk about. We can discuss it. I'm out. Ciao. See you. I'm bouncing.